traditional mode of transportation, which is the car. And this one is the one that you're probably most familiar with because you use it more than any other mode of transportation um, besides walking. Um, but this one um, went from Kansas City to Los Angeles. And this postcard was written in the year 2006. So um, a little bit past the time when the airplane card was written. You can see our stamp has gone up a few cents since then. Um, so things are getting to be a little bit more expensive, um, but we're going to look and see uh, how quickly they could go. We're going to think about how many people could ride in a car, um, and we'll go from there. So it says, March 20th, 2006, Dear Brother, you will probably get this postcard after I am back home. Grandma says I have to write it anyway. I am glad it is my turn to go on vacation with Grandma and Grandpa. We made the trip to Los Angeles in two and a half days. Grandpa stayed under the 70 miles per hour speed limit the entire trip. During the day, we stopped only to eat. At night, we stayed at nice hotels with swimming pools. This is our final day at Disneyland. I am having lot, a lot of fun. Don't worry, next year it'll be your turn, Tim. Okay, so this time they are um, driving out to California, and it says that it took two and a half days for them to get there, and they were able to go 70 miles per hour. So pretty similar to um, the train. Remember the train went 80 miles per hour, um, and it took them about three days. This was slightly quicker, um, but they did have to make quite a few stops um, to fuel up, to stay the night at hotels, um, and to eat. And that's a little bit different from trains because though they did stop to eat and fuel up with trains, uh, trains you could be on at night as well because the conductor could be driving while you were sleeping and a lot of them had um, quarters for people to sleep in. So that's a little bit of a difference. Um, the nice thing about a car is that you can take whatever you'd like with you, whereas on a train, you're more limited to what luggage you can bring um, with you. Now, the car um, doesn't hold as many people, obviously, as a train or an airplane would or the steamboat. It's uh, more similar to um, how many people it would hold um, as the horse and wagon, though some of our cars today can hold, um, like they have 15 passenger vans and stuff that are a little bit larger. So. Um, there are some that hold a few more people as well. So you need to fill in your final column of your transportation comparison chart um, and then upload a picture of that and hold on to it. And today you're also going to watch a video about Henry Ford and the Model T, um, which was one of the first cars that was uh, motorized and available at an affordable price. You're going to find out how Henry Ford made the Model T um, and how he made it affordable as well. So go ahead and complete that. And remember, come back and watch this video if there's a blank that you're not sure of.